Hi, Straight Draw here, and I'm going to talk about the 10 to 1 rule. Now, I've seen other people, a few other people play this way, but I came up with this myself, just trying to control for second bounce accuracy. And the idea is really simple. What we want to do is every time there's 10 mile per hour tailwind, we want to reduce our bars of topspin by one. So if there's a five mile an hour head uh, tailwind, then I'd reduce my top spin by half a bar. So it's proportional. And the same thing if I'm facing a headwind, then I want to increase my bars of top spin. Now let me just say what this is for and what it isn't for. So this works really well for wood clubs because I designed it to try to help me get close to the pin on shootouts and tours seven, eight, and nine, where you're almost exclusively using the sniper. So you can also use it for drives to kind of make sure that you control, um, you know, in a tight area where your drive goes. It, what it's not going to work for is um, long irons and especially not short irons and anything below. So let's take a look. As I line up the shot here, you can see that I decide to put three bars of backspin. A quick note, there was a replay glitch. So this isn't actually a Marlin ball. I'd love to put some left spin on there, but I can't because I'm actually playing a standard golf ball. But notice that after the 10 rings of adjustment, I have three bars of backspin, right? But I have a headwind of about 10 miles an hour. So I want to put one bar of extra backspin, one bar less of backspin right there. You see it go from three down to two. And then even though this is off to the right a little bit, I put a, should have put a little more curl on it. The distance is just about perfect. So let's focus on the bars of backspin. So notice that I don't go all the way down. I go down to about, there, about six bars right. And there's about 1.3 bars left, right? The backspin didn't go all the way to the bottom. Why did I leave that extra? Well, I need about 1.2 additional bars of backspin for this shot. So I get my wind correction and see there I get the last 1.3. So it's a little extra, but it's close. So I've added 1.3 bars of backspin. Let's see how this works out. So we hit it perfect. The LZ is right. And there you go. The distance is perfect. So now we have the same hole as before, but the wind is in a different direction. And I want to talk about the second part of the straight draw 10 to 1 rule. So now we have a significant wind to the left. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl the ball to the right. And hopefully the combination of my curl to the right plus the wind to the left will give me a straight shot at the pin. That's the goal. So let's go through it. So first thing is I set the ball to full backspin. And by the way, this is a standard ball, not a Marlin ball. I don't care what the replay says. It was glitching. So get the ball guide right. Then I do my wind adjustment, which is 13 rings. Okay, so then you'll see me take the backspin. I'm going to, and I'm running out of time, so I get a little more than 1.0. That's what I'm aiming at, but I get about 1.2, 1.3 fewer bars of backspin, but that's gonna push the ball a little further after the first bounce, closer to the pin. And then you see me, let me pause this. You see me leaning in, right, to the wind. Right, so when the ball guide is right, when the edge of the ball guide is right against the edge of this target circle here, um, GC Tommy calls that one quarter ball of curl. I just think of it as you know one one bar of curl or so something like that. Um, but this is my ten to one rule. If I have a ten mile an hour wind blowing this way, right that's 10 miles an hour, then I want to be right at the edge here. And I have to admit that I overcorrect and it's not quite enough, um, but it does give you the idea. I'm kind of leaning into the wind to the right because it's blowing right to left. Got my distance spot on. And yes, I'm over to the left a little bit. So here's an interesting shot where we have a really strong crosswind with almost no headwind, 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're not going to make any adjustments to the bars of topspin or backspin. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lean to the left. We're going to lean to the left so that we make a curl shot. And hopefully the curl that we put on it will balance out this wind to the right and we'll get a straight shot. We'll see how that works. So watching this setup, What's the rule? So between zero and five miles per hour, I don't lean into the wind at all. I don't use any left or right correction with five or less. Between five and 10, I start edging out to that one quarter ball. And between 10 and 15, I get between one quarter ball and one half ball. So you'll see it. Let me get here to the point where I'm setting up this shot. So now we finally have the uh, wind correction for our target LZ. And then there's one quarter ball. And then I want to say something about this. So I said that I had 1.3. So normally I would, this would be the edge, right? That would be one quarter ball and that would be for 10 miles an hour. And you're like, Hey, we've got 13 miles an hour. And so normally, um, right. If I get the middle of the ball against the inside edge, that's a half ball of correction. Um, and so normally I would have been a little further out this more like 1.3 somewhere out here. Okay. But what I want is I want this ball to move a little bit from left to right. So I normally put about a half, uh, uh, or an eighth of a ball of curl on it. So what I'm doing is I'm subtracting that out, but the principle still holds the same that I am going to lean into this, um, shot. So here you can see, right. I'm going to lean into this shot. This is if it were 10 miles an hour. Um, but lean into the shot. The distance should be fine. Hit the LZ and roll back to the pin. So this was fun. This is on Jamil Dunes in tour nine. And I was playing this this evening after I recorded some of the earlier segments of the video and let's check out what we're doing here. So this one has, um, about nine mile per hour. So what I want to do is line up the shot so that the ball guide points right where I want it to go. Right. And now I make my wind correction and then I'm going to add one additional bar of of backspin, right? 9.2. So I want to do 0.9. So there it was at three and now I'm switching to four. So now I have one extra bar of backspin. Not quite sure what's playing in the background, um, to get those noises off sequence, but there you go. For the final shot here, we have the exact same shot as before. So what I do is I do my standard setup, which is um, there you'll see it two and a half bars of backspin and, and one bar of right spin. Okay. But I have this headwind, right? So I'm going to push forward. I'm going to give it. And why am I doing a full one bar? Well, if you look, the wind is blowing right against the direction of my shot there. So, um, it's going to act pretty much like a dead on headwind for much of the rollout here. So I'm going to add, uh, get my wind adjustment done. Then I'm going to add an extra bar of top spin. And there you go. That's the straight draw 10 to one rule. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, post them down below in uh, the comments. And this is Straight Draw. Have fun, play free. Out.